Hello guys and welcome back. This is John Little 9 and today we're going to be tackling two little uh, mechanisms. We're going to be doing the double piston extender and the butt update switch. Now if you guys aren't sure what a butt update switch is, um, it is just a block update detector and we'll get into more of that later. Um, now talking about the series, I know that um, the redstone solutions is going to be like schematics, like elevators, clocks, um, just complete um, things that you can use in your worlds, right? Like elevators or stuff like that. I, I don't really, I don't know what to call them, but uh, I'm going to be also doing like little components. So like double piston extenders, um, block update detectors, um, you know, uh, T flip flops, RS nor latches, just, I'm going to be doing, it's going to be along the lines of tutorials and, I mean, obviously every video is a tutorial. But I'm just going to be kind of showing these designs off, these simple things that you can use for your uh, redstone worlds, or your, your SMP worlds, or your survival worlds, and you won't have to use a lot of resources or take a lot of time to build them. But uh, without, you know, I'm going to stop blabbing now, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so to start, we have the double piston extender. Um, and it's very simple. I don't think I really need to show you guys how to build it. But the first repeater um, is on delay of 2. The um, middle um, repeater is on a full delay. And then the uh, redstone bit here is the final piece. And then you just hook your power up to any areas besides this area. So any backside area of this um, wire here. And it'll work... Uh, flawlessly it'll completely retract and extend um, I'm working on a triple piston extender so keep tuned for that it might be a little bit more bulky but that's to be expected um, now if you guys are wanting to stack this two on top of each other uh, you can and it works just the same just make sure that this power is feeding into the top pistons and you won't have any problems um, that's you know if you're wanting to stack this even higher obviously you're just gonna mimic this uh, little module here and then just stack it up and then feed your power down um, pretty simple and uh, yeah so let's get on to the block update detector now the block update detector like I said um, it's a yeah it it uh, it triggers every time there's a block update next to it now that means placed or um, removed it'll update so it's good for farms so let me show you um, you can use it to detect the growing stages so if you wanted to you could set up a memory array like that one over there and I'll probably get into showing that later um, so each time this triggers it'll set off a certain amount of lamps and then you can show the um, growing stages of wheat or whatever else you're doing um, so it can be used in like potato farms like any any tilled grass kind of farm just make sure that the the plant is on the same um, block level as the piston and you're good um, also um, it can be used for sugarcane and now if you wanted to you could complete you could set up a complete automatic farm have it have a water stream push the items into the nether um, and there your items won't despawn because the chunks aren't loaded um but anyways yeah and if you're not wanting to do a fully automatic farm that's fine you could even use um let's see you could use like a detector light like i said for over here but just have a light that's on um now, if you guys are wanting to do a detector light, sorry, I'm getting into other things rather than the butt update. But if you guys are wanting to do that, um, for the, the light, you could just set up a T flip-flop. And there is a silent T flip-flop. Um, it's actually Zisto showed it. I don't know if anyone else had come up with it before him, but he was the one that I saw it from. Um, and it's just using the locking uh, repeater. But anyways, we'll we'll get into that. I'm going to showcase a lot of simple things that I find. 
So, um, yeah, let's let's build it. So, you take your piston, you face it whichever way you want to face it. You put a block in front of the sticky part, and you dig out a hole underneath. Um, yeah, just right there. Uh, you're gonna set a repeater here. Um, put a block in front of that repeater. Put a uh, torch there with a block on top. Um, and then have a repeater pull power from that and put a block there. Now, I say repeater. You, if you're wanting to, you can completely slow down this. Like, really slow. Um, and it doesn't jam it up or get locked up or anything. If you're wanting more quick, obviously, just put redstone dust there. And... It's pretty dang quick. Um, but yeah, that's that's the tutorial today. So if you guys have any questions or anything that you want to see in future vids, I am still going to be working on um, Enderman, my Enderman farm, which is right... Oh, I took it down. It's okay. I know the, the schematics and how to do it. Um, so Enderman farm, and be working on a full-size spider farm, skelly farm. Um, they're going to be grinders and X, or XP grinders. And loot grinders, obviously, because you're going to get loot from killing them. Um, but um, I'll work on that. And, uh, yeah, so I guess uh, see you guys next time. Happy gaming. And uh, leave a comment if you guys want to see anything else. So, uh, see you guys. Hello, guys, and welcome. This is John Little 9 and today we're going to be... Um, I'm going to do a simple little tutorial day. Um, it's... Uh, I'm gonna be focusing now more on um, redstone uh, simple contraptions that you guys can be using in your SMP. I'm still gonna be doing my let's play. It's uh, it's hard to get recognized as a LPer just because of um, how many LPs there.